kid with everything attachments. We're here with Peanut today. It's April the 6th. Just yesterday, it was under 30 degrees, freezing here in April. We've had some crazy weather. We haven't been able to do any videos. We're trying to move to our new factory over here. We've been working on this for about a year. Uh, and just have missed getting moved over here before spring. So we're gonna wait until summer when it slows down a little bit so we can get caught up on our spring orders. This is our new grapple that we've just come out with from all out of 3 8 uh, AR 400 material, uh, DOM tubing. So it should be super strong. We've added the slats in here to be able to keep you from going too deep when you don't want to and keep your teeth really strong. We've also added some angle to this instead of just a flat back. We've put a pitch on the back of it of about 15 degrees so you can roll this out further and get up under more brush. Uh, we've got a 40 inch opening on this scrapple almost. Um, it's your standard uh, hydraulic connections up here to operate the jaw. We've serrated the teeth to give you a really good grip on what you're doing. And this kind of grapple doesn't have all the gussets out in front of it where you're trying to plow through the ground when you're really trying to just get to the roots and stuff to get trees up. So this is a very, the way we've uh, shaped it and the way it works it makes a good cross between a long regular grapple and a rake which is usually like a bulldozer style just for roots so you get a good combination of both this grapple weighs at 400 pounds and for this size tractor it's no problem and for everything bigger it's just going to be better um, we've done a lot of things including adding center braces in the middle here that are connected to the back just to keep the lid from being able to be pulled out if you're backing it up um, we've put a lot of thought into this scrapple and and to be able to keep it next to the tractor really close we have put the cylinders up inside the frame in here to protect them instead of just sticking them on the back um, so we've got peanut here and Scott, um, we're just going to start, these are the edges of our trees right across here coming in. We've got some, some things to do. We've got a nice church beside of us, Emmanuel Church, and we're going to take out all these old red tips, which have already been topped about halfway by Duke Power to get them out of the primaries because I didn't want to mess with them with 4,000 volts on them. So we're below everything that matters to get shocked, we hope. And we're going to trim off all the limbs to start with, and then we're going to take down the stump to either about 18 inches or all the way just to see where we end up, uh, what's going to work the best for us for now. We don't want to just uh, uh, grub these trees and deroot them because there's a natural gas line right at the edge of the road there, and I don't want to get into that high pressure line. So we're not going to do that today for sure. Um, so then we'll end up planting probably white and pink dogwoods uh, to make it really nice here for the church. Uh, so we're going to start Scott and Peanut on the end of these red tips. We'll go out there and as they uh, get them cut, we're just going to stack. I've got a lot of limbs that were previously cut from all the tops that are over in the church's yard and just haven't had time in the weather where the ground was not so soft that I'm not going to tear up their grass. I certainly don't want to tear up the church's grass. So we're just going to kind of pile it all in a pile along here so I can get someone to mulch it other than we could put it in a big pile and then it'd just be harder to work with later. It'd be cool to have some big, big loads uh, and seeing what the grapple will do, but we're just going to kind of set everything in a row and let it go uh, until we can get it uh, mulched. And then hopefully um, this summer we'll be moving in our new facility. Right now we're working in a 20,000 square foot factory that we have leased and we thought we would go a lot longer in it without having to expand and we're absolutely stretching at the walls so this is uh, 440 feet of manufacturing plus offices in the front and to the left where the stacks are you can see the paint so we've put in a really nice professional paint facility in there we've got enough for 15 welders big bridge cranes along with with six big ass fans to keep everybody cool in there uh, and then the front's going to be uh, the offices where you'll talk to Travis and, and Jerry and, and, all my, and Rick and all my other salesmen. Uh, but we hope to, so we've made a big investment. We're a small company. 
we really want to grow this thing from where my, my great grandfather started with mules and sold the first tractors and now we're just continuing on with our own attachments. And I appreciate all our subscribers on YouTube for staying with us, even though we haven't been doing videos lately and that's for two reasons. One, lately the weather just hadn't been cooperative and two, for the last year we have been so busy in our little building that if we make more videos and make more sales, we're going to get further behind which is not going to help with our customer service which we like to keep it a tip top shape and, and have really good shipping. Right now we're working in four to five weeks behind. We've got the guys coming in early in the morning and working on Saturdays. So nobody's real happy about that. We want to get over here, get back to regular hours with more people and uh, have some more jobs in this area and produce the best equipment made on the planet for you. On this particular grapple here, this is our prototype. So this particular grapple being the first one wanting to check the fit of everything before we go cutting up sheets of steel that are over $2,000. This is a grade 50 steel. This is the same steel we make our box blades and everything like that out of. Most companies use an A36. We use a grade 50. It's, it's a lot stronger. Uh, and that's what this is made out of but it's nowhere near the strength of an AR-400. So if we do bend something or something on this, and I doubt we will because this is not going to be some really hard work to do, just remember that this was the first prototype and it is a grade 50. Uh, we do have the AR ones built and ready to go. We've got a dozen of them already sold before we got them built. So they're, they're getting plumbed right now to go out to customers and we're gonna use the prototype. So if it does happen to bend, it's gonna be because of the steel it was made of.
this will make peanuts life easier getting into those trees. So far, I don't see anything bent even out of this grade 50 steel. These are all the top of the trees that were uh, cut out of the primary lines by Duke Power so we could do this.
trying to stay as close to the trees as I can, not to mess up their whole yard.